Thank you for ordering my skimmer conversion kit. Here's our the parts from the basic uh, kit. The um, silencer is actually optional, and then the um, or add-on purchase. And you, there's the air bib, and then the two-part bullet. Um, this needle wheel skimmer impeller, and then the spacer. And then I'll show you how to put them together. Go. Okay, here's showing all the parts. Uh, the pump, I have already removed the housing from the screws, so that's pretty easy. Just use a screwdriver and, um, and screw it from the back end. And this is what you'll see when you take your pump apart. Uh, pull out the impeller and then and, uh, keep an eye on your o-ring seal. And here you see there's a ring retention clip. So you need to use a ring, uh, external ring plier to remove it. But be careful, don't um, exert too much force, otherwise you'll need to use a plier to bend it back in shape before you put it back in. So just exert enough shape, enough force to take it out and keep that in a good spot. Um, so this is the impeller that come with your pump. And um, I usually just kind of use even force or just kind of try to shimmy it off a bit. So now you have just a shaft. Um, this part comes off and you know, keep it on. And then what you do first, you take the um, skimmer retention or the spacer and uh, place, place it in first. So there's a D-shaped hole, so you have to match it into the, the shaft. So that slides in all the way down. And then you take the impeller, needle impeller. Um, this part, you know, all the needles are very fragile, so don't press down on one or at an angle too much, you'll, you'll actually break it. So what you want to do is, you know, hold it on the side like this, and then line it up so you can fit it in. And then use your whole hand so you're pressing down on all the surface of the needle straight down. So then it pushes it all the way down to the retention, the spacer. So now that's done. This went all the way in. And you can put the um, retention clip back in. You see, um, just to make sure it's in good, I kind of press it down again to make sure uh, the clip is clipped in. Okay. So then, now you're done with the uh, impeller part. So put this back into the pump. And then don't forget your O-ring seal. And that goes behind the clear part <coughs> of this plate, and pellet plate. And then, for this demo, I'm going to actually install this sideways because I have it in a shallow uh, bucket of water or tub of water, and I don't want it, the water to splash out. So I'm going to put this on the side so we can see it in action. And for the sake of um, speed and you, I don't want to show you guys screwing this in because I'll take but when you're operating your pump you definitely need to put the screws in uh, so here you have the valute um, so basically it's designed to be adjustable here's the main hole where it sucks in the, the water and then here's where you place the air bed and you can screw this screw this the adjustable part on but you have to screw it in all the way so that this plate, facing plate, is touching down here. So you, you actually feel that um, as you screw it in, it goes all the way down. And then when it goes all the way down, it snaps and then it becomes uh, easy to turn. So now when it goes all the way down, it doesn't, when you turn the other way, it doesn't come out. Unless, if you want to take it off, you actually have to 
pull on it and then unscrew, then they'll come out like this. So when you put it in, um, make sure that the thread is, is lined up and then uh, screw it all the way in. And then here you can see <coughs> when it's wide open, and then you can turn it to close it up so only the center part lets the water in. So this is where the adjustable part comes in. So even though this thing right now turns 360 degrees, which means when you put in your water, it might be a little bit hard to tell what uh, angle or how much water you're letting in, but you can tell from the output of the pump. But if you want an uh, indicator, you can um, maybe mark it, mark your uh, relic so you can see how much you're turning it. Um, the other suggestion I have, which um, I couldn't do this for you because otherwise I wouldn't be able to put it together, is that you can put a drop of um, super glue gel right down in the center here. So when you turn it, it'll, it'll hit the super glue gel and not allow you to turn fully. But be careful, don't uh, touch to the side because then you'll glue the two parts together and then it wouldn't work anymore. So once this is done, then you can insert the air bed and just push it all the way down. And then if your air bib is a little bit loose, you can put a little Teflon tape and then stick it in. And then screw your loop on. And this doesn't have to screw all the way down, just as long as it doesn't come off, because it's not intended to be water sealed. And so you place this in your sump. So this is pretty much it. Um, let me show you when it's in the water. I'm going to put a... Um, so here I made, I made an air bib with three different sizes so you can find uh, tubing if you're liking that can fit. And then next I'll show you when it's in the water operating with the silencer. Pause. Go. Okay, now this is the one we just assembled and I placed it in the shadow water, uh, fresh water. So uh, the bubble you see is because it's fresh water, so it's not going to distribute as much. But I'm going to turn it on now. And this is without the silencer, so you can hear the difference. And this is on a uh, full power. It takes a while for it to crank up. So I don't know if you can hear this. Uh, you can tell that it's you know, pulling quite a bit of air. Oh, and you can adjust the uh, roulette to make it stronger. It depends on how much water you let in. Um, it'll change the water-air ratio. So it depends on how big your skimmer is. And then to make it a silencer, or uh, quieter, put a, put a silence on and just insert it in. And there you go. I was sucking in air from this side, so it's making my gargoyle sound. So. This is what the cellings are. I try to block the water so it doesn't suck in any more air. Here's a closer look, look at the Valute. Uh, let's see if it'll focus. There you go. And um, this end part here is designed to fit into a um, one and a half inch PVC coupling. So the other end you can put a screen to prevent any. Um, snails or any rebel pebbles or whatever being sucked in to jam into the pump. And then this other end is where you screw it into the pump. You can see where the air is being pulled in, mixing with water as the water pull is being sucked in.